so the WISE group is an organisation whose purpose is to create new opportunities for the well-being of people, for organisations and communities. And we have about a thousand staff throughout New Zealand doing that nationwide every day. So they create new opportunities um, for people by getting them jobs, by helping them live great lives, and mo most of those people um, suffer from mental illness. Um, we help organisations um, build great organisations through deploying things like software and systems. And for example, we've got a company called Wild Bamboo, which is a software development company, which sells software right through New Zealand and in the UK and Australia. And for whole communities. So where we see an issue like um, in the last three weeks, there was a major issue with legal highs. So we were the catalyst behind mobilising the whole community of Hamilton to say this is enough and we launched a campaign called Enough with the local schools, the businessmen, the people in that region and um, we were the quiet ones behind it so we can provide the infrastructure and the columns and build the websites and do things like that but do it in a really silent way which journeys alongside people and doesn't take over and, um, and you know that's what drives us every day. For us it's all about social justice and that's where we started. So I'm one of the founders of the organisation and 25 years ago there was, there was just two of us and we were driven by issues around homelessness and poverty. We're still driven by those issues and they haven't changed unfortunately, but for us success um, would mean that every New Zealander um, um, was well, um, they were happy and they were thriving. It's like any um, young company. When you start an organisation and there's only two of you and you add two more people and two people after that, decision making isn't an issue because you just all sit around a little office and you can tell everybody everything that's going on and you get everybody's ideas and you bounce off each other. And that's okay until you get to about 20 staff and then it starts to get more difficult and people start to feel disconnected but suddenly when you have remote working and you have people from Auckland to Christchurch and you have a thousand people, it is impossible for you to do that using a um, medium that will have worked in the past. You know, I still think um, that face-to-face -face is better than any medium available. To get people in a room and to get them talking together, if the trust is there and the vulnerability-based trust is there, that is always the best. But, um, and, but you have to look at other medium if you're going to run a medium to large scale organisation. So for us, we were looking around for, um, I, it's not a product, but more, what would be a process that would allow an organisation of our size to talk to each other in a meaningful way? And, you know, we give everything a try or anything, and so we pick up apps all the time and try them. And, and Lumio at first just fell into that category for us. You know, we became enchanted by it, we knew a few people involved. We thought, yeah, yeah, we'll give it a go. We didn't have great expectations of it, um, I guess, to start with, um, but that soon really changed for us. We use Connexa, which is a employee, um, if you like, um, engagement survey. It's, um, it's a very rigorous one, it's used by thousands upon thousands of people um, within New Zealand and internationally. And so it measures the engagement of staff and um, that's, um, you know, that's a silver bullet for a chief executive is the engagement of people and so you basically you don't want too many people who are working within the organisation to be in the ambivalent camp or the I'm ready to leave camp. You want as many people in the um, highly engaged and in flow and that's what you strive for every day and um, we've tried all sorts of things over the years and our engagement level is quite high but we wanted to lift it by another four points and we measure the engagement by team so every team we know their engagement level and there's one question within the survey that says do you feel involved in the decision making of the organisation and that within the Pathways leadership team, where we had put Lumio in and they'd been using it for six months, they came out at 96%. So 
you know, that for us, they were higher than any single team within the whole of the WISE group. So that has led us to believe the only difference was that was the only team who had been consistently using um, Lumio. And we are now going to test that out across other teams. And when we do the survey this December, we um, suspect that we are going to find um, similar results in the teams who are going to be using Lumio. So if um, you know you have apps that help you process this in systems, but if you have something that fundamentally changes the satisfaction level of your staff and the engagement level, it's what every management you know, uh, process, book, seminar, conference is trying to do, and it's what you're trying to do every day. So if you can have something that seems to be magical in that, and seems to do that in a way that actually just naturally supports the evolution of the organisation, and you don't have to go out there pulling rabbits out of a hat and doing rah-rah stuff. If it's something that's actually um, being generated by the people themselves, then you know what more can you ask for as a chief executive? So we have multiple um, client groups, if you like, and so for um, some we like Blueprint, their client group is their students, for some we are like Wild Bean Boo, their client group are the people who use their software, but by far our biggest client group are people who experience mental illness every day, and their whānau, and um, that would be the group that we're most interested in, in using Lumio with. They are also the group who, from a technology persp perspective, will um, have low literacy and low access to technology, which we're trying to change. We have a whole, um, um, through our tech team actually, we're, we're trying to alter that, and we have a goal what, this year, well it's actually one of our top challenges, to see what it would look like if we were to deploy technology to every person that we serve. We um, have trialled, like last year we trialled an innovation um, software program, and it was so complex. And um, when we first went to Lumio, actually, they said, oh, no, you can't, you can't use Lumio as an ideas generation system. Actually, we don't um, agree with you on that. We are, it's generating ideas for us every day. But one of the beautiful um, stories was there was a group of staff, and they were involved in um, what's essentially health and safety, but um, we call it wellbeing. And a large number of those staff, because we have a proactive recruitment of people who've experienced mental illness, had experienced mental illness. And um, uh, the person in charge of the project came to me one day and said, oh, this is amazing. And um, I'll use another name, but, she's, uh, but she said, Mary, for the first time, has actually posted something on Lumio. And you know, that was a, that was a real mark in for us, that here was someone who, you know, would, have been timid around putting their ideas forward, let alone putting up something for discussion, and uh, had never ever done anything like that before. So that led us to believe, number one, it's, 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 it's really um, easy to use, but it's actually safe. So you learn that um, you're not gonna get you know, shot down in flames, that it's a process, that the way that people use it, it's, it's respectful. And you know, for people who are vulnerable, they seem to feel really safe in that process. So for us, yep, to roll Lumio out to our client group would be wonderful because it's a group who are really consulted about anything in their lives and have a lot done to them. So I believe if we, the lib it's so liberating for our staff and it's, it's liberating the organisation and I have no doubt it will change also the way in which um, our client group can participate in, in their own wellbeing. I think the community sector collaborates really well and they tend to do that a lot with face-to-face -face meetings and, and emails and I think Lumia would help that. But if I was to look at the group that really um, needs to engage, it's actually government. So, if government were to pick this up and liaise to pick this up and enter into dialogue with the NGO sector and with the people of New Zealand, I think it would just be liberating for the whole country. Um, I think that they 
sometimes are afraid of doing that because they're afraid of not being able to control what they hear or and it's too risky and it's out there um, but that hasn't been my experience that actually mostly people enter into you know really strong healthy dialogue and they're not trying to be mischievous they're just wanting to you know make the world a better place whatever their part of the world is and so for me it would be councils local councils and it would be um, would be government and for them to truly and openly engage with not just um, their customers like us um, but also you know the, the wider community.